Hi, welcome all of you and my this particular video is related to the very commonly asked questions by many of you who are going for the interviews of organization like DRDO. You know DRDO is a research organization and uh, the interview of research organizations are little different from the interviews of other organizations like public sectors, engineering services or other organizations like you know private sector companies and all assistant engineer interviews and teaching interviews etc in a uh, research organization interviews they want to check your research uh, aptitude for that particular field so if you are going there for the post of scientist as electrical engineer he is going to check your aptitude of research for electrical engineering he is not much bothered about your personality or uh, what kind of person you are you are introvert extrovert hard working trustworthy or not he is not much interested about that he is not even interested about your introduction you know about your hobbies and interest and all certainly he is interested in your past and if you have done some kind of you know uh, job he is interested in uh, that particular job what you have done in that particular job he is interested in that uh, so in the research organization uh, like uh, DRDO the typical in, uh, question you know the one question he is going to ask you is about the introduction that is the first question expected question he is going to ask you to introduce yourself now I always say that when you get this opportunity to introduce yourself you should always try to pull the interview in particular direction now in which direction can you pull the interview of research organization in my opinion you can pull that interview in the direction of your projects which you have done your college or internship which was part of your entire you know uh, graduation program so you must have gone to some industry you must have gone to some organization where you must have done internship for a couple of months and you have done project in the college so if you end your introduction at project or internship these guys are very very interested in that because from there they get to know that what is your research bent of mind how you handle the projects and what you can do so you can pull the interview in the direction of project and internship that is where you can take entire interview and uh, many students say sir we have uh, done our engineering couple of years back and I am not confident in the project now uh, so should I prepare it or shouldn't I I tell you honestly like probability that they may ask you question from your project even if you have not mentioned that in the interview is very high so project to karna padega aapko or project may say typically wo question poochta hai that why did you do project on this what is your project first you have to tell the title so the typical question what is your project that is the first question you have to tell the title of your project and the second he asks you is why you did this project what is the meaning of why is like you should do project on some particular problem which you find that this problem is existing and if I work on this problem I may provide some solution to this problem so he just wants to see that what was the reason why you chose this project you cannot say my professor gave me this project sir so I did this project or I found this particular problem in the uh, you know literature review or in the journal or in the research paper so I started working on that he is interested to know that did you solve some real world problem so why you did this project that is another question he asked you and then also he asked you that what was your contribution your own effort your contribution in this project I want to understand so what did you do so you he is expecting that you will say sir I did some kind of analysis on let's say I did finite element method analysis I did computational fluid dynamics I worked on CFD uh, maybe I used ANSYS I wrote code for this particular problem and I conducted some experiments I analyzed the experiment I did the you know analysis of all the results and on the basis of that analysis I came to know about this so he wants you to tell him what did you do so what was your effort in that particular project then he wants to know what was the results so if you uh, put effort on some project you must have got some result what was the result was the result on expected lines what did you get out of it and then he asks you what are the uh, you know uh, further extension of this where do you want to take this project further so what can be the extension of this project where you want this project to go further because limited time you must have done this in couple of months or maybe one semester but if you are given chance to work further on this project where would you like to take it and I tell you one more thing also as you know DRDU kind of organizations go for campus placement also not only through their own test uh, recruitment they uh, take the students they go to the campus also now uh, many times only on the basis of the work which you have done in the project they uh, uh, select you uh, if you have done very good project 
then DRDO will select you only on the basis of the project which you have done. So that uh, uh, that is sufficient for them to know that yes, you have research bent of mind. So if you can impress them in the project, that can be very, very good. Now, what are the typical questions they ask you from the internship? Uh, where you have done the internship? And what was the contribution to that organization? Normally, when you go for internship, you don't do it seriously. You are preparing for some exam and you go there, you observe the things, but they don't get you, they don't let you get involved into the activities. So you will say, sir, I have observed this machine, but I have not touched this machine. I have not done anything on that machine. He's going to ask you very clearly that when you went there, what did you observe there? Something which you have not done in your graduation, in your college. So again, what did you do there? And also this question that why at the first place you chose internship in this organization. So if you've done, uh, uh, you know, internship in Indian Railways, so he's going to ask you why Indian Railways and what did you do there? What was your contribution to that company? So you were there for two months. So uh, could you give some kind of, you know, suggestion to them at the end of the training? You must have submitted some report. So what did you write in that report and what did you observe there? What did you do there? So internship and project are actually very, very important. And when you start preparing for your interviews of DRDO, uh, please ask yourself the questions which I just gave you, how you are going to answer these questions. They are very, very important for you and also prepare it well. Many students say, sir, I don't have the project report with me now. I have lost it long back. So please arrange it from your friends or something. And once you get that project report, start working on that. So this is important document, project and internship. You need to basically prepare it well and you need to justify it once your interview is there. So, and uh, also on your PDI, you can have dedicated, you know, snap related to project and internship where the mentors are going to ask you questions uh, exactly from your project and internship. And they, they will let you know that what kind of expected questions, uh, you know, you can face in the interviews. Hope this point is clear to you. Now prepare well for your project and uh, internship so that you score good in your interview. All the very best. Thank you.